So we're in 29 schools now, with over 75,000 members. People who go on the Facebook tend to stay on longer than almost any other website. Now, here's the most impressive statistic. 91% of people who try it once will come back. Now, if you'll allow me... Excuse me one second. What sound is he making? Is that like a tisk? It wasn't a tisk. It was... like a glottal stop. Almost a gag reflex. Guess what is this? There was one more meeting scheduled for the New York trip. Yes, it was a dinner. It was set up through my girlfriend at the time. Would you say that Mark was excited about this meeting? Yes, very. But they're not gonna card us. They might. They look around. It'll be embarrassing. <gasps> Tell him they're not gonna card us. They're not gonna card us. Mark, are you gonna talk about abs again? Unless you're the Ballet Theater of Hartford, the purpose of a business is to make a profit. It isn't a business yet. So that's, that's tough for me, because my job, never mind. 25 minutes late. He founded Napster when he was 19. He can be late. He's not a god. And what is he? He's 25 minutes late. I think we're just jealous. I honestly wasn't jealous. I was nervous. Why? Well, I didn't know him at all, but I had done a search and I'd asked around, and he struck me as kind of a... Oh, a wild card. Why? He crashed out of two pretty big internet companies in spectacular fashion. He's had a reputation with drugs. He also founded the companies. We don't need him. He's here. No, 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 take your time. And he does own a watch. Stop. Hey. I'm Sean Parker. How do you do? You must be Eduardo and Christy and Mark. Great to meet you. Great to meet you. You guys don't have anything in front of you. No. Tori. You're away. Hey, baby boy. Can you bring out some things? Mm -hmm. The lacquered pork with that ginger confit, tuna tartare, and the lobster claws. That'll get us started. Christy, what do you like to drink? An apple teeny. Great. Four of those. From that point on, it was a Shaunathon. The question was, what did you talk about? through his episode with Napster. I didn't want to spend my 20s as a professional defendant. Who knew the music industry doesn't have a sense of humor? <laughs> we tried to sell the company to pay the 35 million they said we owed in royalties, but I guess to them that was a little like selling a stolen car to pay for the stolen gas. So we said, screw it, declare bankruptcy. Uh, you made a name for yourself. And you are dry. Uh, Tori. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. And then he went on to his second business venture, which was an online Rolodex that he got thrown out of by Case Equity. And I wanted to do it nice this time. I put on a tie and I shine my shoes, but nobody wants to take orders from a kid. So let me tell you what happens to a 20-year-old at the top of a hot.com. I'm not a psychiatrist, but... I'm glad we've got that on the record. You're not a psychiatrist, but what? A psychiatrist would say that he was paranoid. They'll hire private detectives who will follow you day and night. You're a target for high-priced escorts. I can't prove it, but I know they tap my phones. Whatever it is that's gonna trip you up, you've done already. Private behavior is a relic of a time gone by, and if somehow, someway, you've managed to live your life like the Dalai Lama, they'll make shit up, because they don't want you. They want your idea, and they want you to say thank you while you, excuse me, wipe your chin and walk away. That's what happened to you? And delusional. Yes, but there'll be payback in case I brought down the record companies with Napster and case will suffer for their sins oh, too. You, sorry, you, you, didn't, you didn't bring down the record companies. They won. In court? Yeah. You want to buy a Tower Records, Eduardo? And he told story after story about life in Silicon Valley and parties at Stanford and down in LA and friends who become millionaires, but mostly how Mark had to, he had to come to California. And then he cut around to the Facebook. So, tell me about your progress. Well, we're in 29 schools now. We got over 75,000 men. Tell me about the strategy you're using. Okay. Uh, for instance, we wanted Baylor in Texas, but Baylor already had a social network on campus, so instead of going right after them, we made a list of every school within 100 miles. We put the Facebook on those campuses first. Pretty soon all the Baylor kids were seeing their friends on our site. We were in. It's called the Little Bitcoin. That's smart, Mark. Oh, thanks. That was mine. Easy. Hey, you know what? Settle an argument for us. I say it's time to start making money from the Facebook, but Mark doesn't want to advertise you. Who's right? Well, neither of you yet. 
The Facebook is cool. That's what it's got going for it. Yeah. You don't want to ruin it with ads because ads aren't cool. Exactly. It's like you're throwing the greatest party on campus and someone saying it's got to be over by 11. That's exactly right. You don't even know what the thing is yet. That's exactly right. How big it can get, how far it can go. This is no time to take your chips down. A million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? You? A billion dollars. That shut everybody up. And that's where you're headed. A billion dollar valuation. Unless you take bad advice, in which case you may as well have come up with a chain of very successful yogurt shops. When you go fishing, you can catch a lot of fish, or you can catch a big fish. You ever walk into a guy's den and see a picture of him standing next to 14 trout? No, he's holding a 3,000 pound marlin. Yep, that's a good analogy. Okay, but we all know that marlins don't really weigh 3,000 pounds, right? No, have you seen the big ones up close? No, I haven't, but I don't think the guy's holding a marlin the size of a Range Rover. That would be a really big fish and a very strong guy. You think we might be getting away from the point? I don't have a dog in this fight. I'm just a fan who came to say hi. He owned Mark after that dinner. He picked up the check, he told Mark they'd talk again soon, and he was gone. But not before he made his biggest contribution to the company. Drop the the. Just Facebook. It's cleaner. 